So you don't have any money because you went to Starbucks with your mama. Yeah, she goes every day. <laughs> it's just a usual thing. You gotta get used to it. You know, where are you going, mom? Oh, wait, I know the answer. It's probably Starbucks, isn't it? Um, but yeah. How do you think she's gonna take this little conversation we're having? My drink is healthy and I get rewards. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the mouths of babes. <laughs> Sorry, Mama. It's a joke. I think we should do something where whoever catches the most fish wins, but whoever doesn't has to jump in. What's up, guys? Welcome to Crawford Quest. We're doing something a little different today. We're live bait fishing today. We got some shiners. The only thing that sucks is they're domestic shiners not wild shiners i don't like using domestic but we're going to try them out today so who wants to back the truck up you want to back the truck up all right they're never too young teach them abby backed it up the other day so let's see what bo can do check your mirrors and come on back turn it to the left a little bit left left Keep going. All right, straighten it up. Keep going. Keep going. All right, cat. That's good. All right, grab that dock. All right, and hold the boat. Put it in drive. All right, give it a little bit of gas. Keep your foot on the brake and give it a little bit of gas. Put it in park. Good job. Go down there with your sister. Go help her hold the boat. Hey, good job. Only do that if you're confident that your kids can pull it off. They, uh, they drive the side-by-side, -side, which the side-by-side -side is awesome because it's like a little mini truck. So they get the experience, you know, park, neutral, reverse, how not to hit things. So side-by-side is a really useful tool to train them how to drive stuff. Oh, yeah. All kind of shiner water, water, water in my truck. Weather tech though, baby. That's gonna smell good. That's okay. It's a truck. Now on this video, we had some questions on the last video about the poles that we're using, stuff like that, some equipment. So on this video, I will show you guys what is a good starter rod that if you don't fish a lot um, and don't wanna spend a lot of money, obviously, now I'll show you something that's uh, should be pretty well for you. Got the boat sideways. How does that even happen? I'm kidding. Old jet drive. It don't matter how shallow it is. This is uh this is Lake Wildcat. It's off Highway 40. There's a swimming area over there. So it's a very clean lake, a very deep lake, and they have some big fish. I caught one 10 pounds out of here quite a few years ago, but we're gonna go and see what we can do today. Let's go. Oh, oh my gosh, go, that's dude. a two pound bass. I... Uh, yeah. Hold on, I'll hold the, um, the line. I was just saying, I had a fish on. Yeah, I, I said she cast it right in front of the boat before this cast, and uh, I said, you're not gonna catch a fish. And I said, I'll bet you $100. And she got bites and she tried to row it up, but she missed it. And so she just put it right there. Guys. I want it, I want it before you really see it. Look at him. We'll just say he's a fat Sally right there. Totally. 
see that sign? Y'all, I'm so happy. This is like the fish of my life. I love him. The fish of my life. Is that your PB? <laughs> Probably. I love him. He's my best friend. This is Carl. Actually, no, the other one was Carl. This was Jimmy. Jimmy, yep, this is Jimmy. So, he did me well. Can I hold it? Yeah, but I'm releasing him. Got him? Oh, you get him, bud. I don't know. I'm dead. That would be so funny oh. if he jumped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna laugh when he jumps off the boat. <laughs> hold it. Put your hand in it. You grab him now. Because you wanted to hold him. You got him? You lift him good? You said lift him good. You're a lucky duck. I am so happy. You're a lucky Sally. As I was losing You're confidence, a Sally. I got this guy. Okay. Actually, that was a front flip, I think. I don't really know. I think that was a front flip. Now I'm going to fix this. All right, what we're using is a seven foot rod. It's a spinning rod. And I like to use, if you're going to buy like one for like all around, do like a seven foot, like medium, medium heavy rod. Um, you don't want a medium light rod because the tip on it is just too flimsy for me. Um, but then we got just a regular little spinning reel. It's probably like a 2000 series. And uh, I think on this one there's Power, Power Pro line on this one. Um, but you can pick up combos from Walmart, Gander Mountain, um, Bass Pro, anything like that. That's what the kids are fishing with. It's great for them. It's easy to use. And it's pretty maintenance free, so. Here he is. He's on. Can I hold him? That's a good one. That's, that's a good one. That's your first response. That's a good one. That's in your first. He's in the grass. So that's, that's, that that's. Do you want me to drive us over there in the troll motor? Come on, he's off. No, he's off. That's a big guy. That's a big guy. It's not a big one. Well, he's. But it's a good one. I didn't see him at first, but he's. The, Yep, he's in there, I mean. It's not a big one, but it's, oh my, he is big. Hold on, hold on, hope's back, come on. Lucky. <laughs> but you haven't to jump in so far. I'm not jumping in, you're jumping in. Easy, easy. Look at, the, look at this junk corks. That's a pretty big fish. How, how much? Do you think that's three? <laughs> three or four? Oh, guys, no. Oh, he's like a oh, I see him now. now. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh I see him now. Hey, you you got a good shot of my knees. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, okay, you still got a good shot. There you go, camera lady. <laughs> Sorry, guys, about my knee shot there. <laughs> but finally, got one off the shiners. I can tell you right now. And I already knew it, but we stopped, and we could only get domestic shiners. I hate domestic shiners so much because they don't last long, they don't stay alive, and they're just garbage. But that's all we could get because we can't get any wild shiners around here anymore because nobody's going out and fishing for them. So if you're a wild shiner fisherman, leave some comments and let me know because I would get with you and I will buy wild shiners from you because I hate these domestic ones. But anyway, we got another fish. So we got two fish. According to the challenge, Bo's the only one that's going to be jumping in right now. I think Kelly should jump in with me because she just hooked me in the face. I did not hook him. I scratched there him. There was on. a close call. A very, very close call and I didn't like it at all. Can I but hold him? Anyway, there's another good wrap. No, we want to put him back in the water. We don't want to hold him forever. He's a... That's a good healthy fish. That's what I love about this lake. They do have healthy fish and there's some big ones in here. But I knew he was caught in the grass. I knew he wasn't a big one. And I was just hoping I was gonna be able to get him out of that grass. Don't want him to dry out. Come back in two years, she's gonna be a eight pounder. Oh, there's the other half of your bobber. Yeah. Yeah, those are some Walmart bobbers and they're garbage as well. Guys, the wind has been blowing. That's why we don't have much footage. That's why we didn't get a lot of these. Well, both we didn't get her. She missed another fish, and she hooked into one. But we didn't have the cameras rolling because it's yeah. so windy out here. All we're gonna hear is wind noise, which you can probably hear it now. And she. Yeah, now she got, got Bo. Chin. Bo right across the face right there as she was casting. Obviously, it was an accident. She didn't mean to. And then he was at Sky Zone. Got him a little rope burn but anyway we're trying to make the best out of it and have
have fun and just go fishing, so. Oh, yes. Can, I, can you get my bait caster? Can they get, oh, get the bait caster? No, can they get the bait caster? Fish, guys. Okay, I'm holding it. I'm holding it. Can I hold it first? That's oh yes, fish. that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Yes, it is. That's a good. And it's going. No. Out of the grass. Out of the grass. Out of the grass. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh my gosh. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Come on. Guys, no, don't touch that line. Okay. Oh my. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Yes. Look at that barely hook. Barely hooked. Is it recording? Oh. Please tell me it's recording. It's recording. Oh. Sweet oh. mama. Oh. <laughs> How? Oh, oh my gosh. I'm definitely. I've that. never seen a fish that. Look at that fat. Look at that oh. fat. How come it's always you catching Daddy, the big how, ones? How heavy do you think he is? Five pounds. Look at that joker. That's a nice. That's a that's a good five pounds. Let's see if I get the skill. Yeah. I don't really know how heavy it is, so I can't tell. Six, six, dude. Can six, you see it? Six, six one. one. Six pounds. Daddy, and one ounce. Can I hold them? Six pounds, baby. That is awesome. And I was just talking about those domestic shiners. Look at that thing. <laughs> yeah, now, now you might buy them. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm going to try with the bobber. I haven't fished with the bobber yet. Right, I'm not it. sure if I'm going to be able to hold it. You got to hold it two hands. And tight. Tight. Don't drop him. He's a heavy fish. Oh my goodness. He's going to bite you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look at that size coming. All right, guys. One last time. Look at that beauty. Beautiful bass. Gosh, it's so beautiful. Six pounds, one ounce. Awesome. Thank you so much. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> that is so awesome. That is so awesome. You want to go back and swim is what you want to do, huh? It's, it's hot. I mean, it's, it, it has a nice breeze, but we can still go back and swim. <laughs> a nice breeze. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm shiner fishing or bass fishing, I cannot stand wind blowing 10 miles an hour. It drives me insane, but that's part of it go fishing and get some wind sometimes or you just don't go fishing yeah never make memories yeah if the fishing poles and the baits ain't flying the fish ain't dying well well in this case they're not dying because it's catch and release so they're going back in the water <laughs> so, you guys know what i meant i just had a fish jump but that when you're fishing for shiners and you got a bobber on the best thing to do is count to like 10. let the bobber go down let it stay down count nice healthy 10 and then reel all your slack in and then go ahead and set the hook because what a lot of times what they'll do is they'll come up and they'll hit it a couple times to descale the shiner and then they'll come back and take it so if you get them when they're descaling and you rip it out of their mouth odds are they're not going to come back you spooked them off but so just let that bobber go down count to 10 then set the hook and you're good to go i just started it it's okay i just missed another one because of the wind how did you miss it because of the wind, Mr. Adam? Well, it's because when I cast it, it backlashed because I had to cast it into the wind. And while I was doing my backlash, I went boom, boom. And then he went all the way around every lily pad. That's what happened. No big deal. So sad when he was a big fish. Actually, we didn't even know if it was a big fish. Oh, it was a monster. And it was a monster we lost. It's fine. He cast yeah, it right back. there right. 10 times with that Mondo. No bites. I put a watermelon speed worm on. Bye. Well, if I would have known that, I would have been fishing there like a few hours. Challenge is a challenge. Daddy caught the most fish. That means these two have to jump in the water because they caught the least amount of fish. I was right behind them. It went like. Youngest caught nothing. Bet to bet. Get on get for the gators come. We never set the second. I just have to get in. Mm. Yeah, you did. You said I don't even have enough. Technically, you don't have to. I don't. No. No, but you. No, we sh shook on it. Me and you shook on that. No, oh, you got a bruise on your face from that pole. 
Uh, like right around your ear. Um, I'll get, I'll get right here. No, can can we have to go? No, I'm hey, challenge is a challenge. Yeah, can I challenge so, the yeah, challenge? Shirts off, man up. <laughs> it's a challenge, bro. I have nothing good on though. I don't have other shoes close. Right. Yeah, I don't need it. Oh. Not. All right. All right, we'll come release these shiners. <laughs> Another fishing trip in the books. I got him before you did. I just went for it. Did you guys have fun? I like that six pound bass was amazing. Yeah, so we called another six pounder. Had fun, you guys completed the challenge. Called an ambulance on the water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, thanks for coming fishing with us. This video is over. So until the next video, we'll see you then. Bye.